Hello, everyone. I'm not going to stand on here because I have two children I'd like to get home to tonight. Um, but my name is Alicia Polk, and I'm running in group two. Um, I was born and raised in a circuit in a small town called Dade City. I don't know how many people have been there, but it's a lovely town you should visit. I did not think so much when I was 18 and stomped my way out of there and said I was never coming back. Uh, I did come back because I missed my community and I missed my family, which is where I really want to be, is in our community, helping our people. Um, I went to Stetson Law, and after that I came back to Dade City and prosecuted at the State Attorney's Office. I there, after that, went into private practice, and I've been in private practice since then. I've been practicing 11 years. I have trial and litigation experience in every single courtroom I could be assigned to as a circuit court judge. Why is that important? Because I've been applying the facts to the law for 11 years. You can't get that without being in the courtroom. It's very important. Um, with, with regard to my life experience, I have two beautiful children. Uh, both were born with uh, some challenges in life, and I have had to learn how to deal with all sorts of people. Doctors, social workers, um, nurses, um, therapists, school systems, you name it, I've dealt with it. Uh, I've been lucky and fortunate that my kids are both doing very well, and we have been able to have an open line of communication with the team of people that we deal with every day. I work with uh, the Community Campaign Against Human Trafficking. I'm a certified speaker for them on that very important topic. Um, I also work within the school system on our PTO board, raising money for uh, the, the Academy of the Farm, which is the school my child goes to. And talk about patience. I deal with 400 kids and their parents and their relatives on a daily basis with regard to that school, and that does take some patience. Um, you should pick up my flyer. It's in the back. It's got the endorsements on it. I'm very proud of the endorsements, and we were just recommended today in the Tr Tampa Tribune. I was one of those that was recommended as their, their pick. So please visit my website, my Facebook page. Call me. I will answer any questions I can. Uh, don't forget to vote August 26th, Alicia Polk, Group 2. Thank you for your time. I think uh, that we just implemented the e-filing system, and I think that's really helped with filing times um, and, and getting things processed in a faster way. Uh, I still think we have some problems with getting things heard in a better way, but, but at least we're being able to get it uh, filed faster um, than there's a record of when it was actually filed. There's no losing it. Uh, when you get it to the clerk's office, I used to have to take mine, get it time stamped with my document and bring it back to the office just so I had proof that it was filed. But now we actually get to e-file, which I think has been a great improvement for the court system. What other methods would you suggest? Other methods I would suggest. I think that with the e-filing, they're on a really good start, to be honest with you. It's, it's hard. Um, I believe Judge Boyer can give you a better average, but I believe it's 1,800 cases per judge um, around that number. It's hard to manage that. I understand. Um, I've never managed 1,800 cases. I generally do between 60 and 70 cases, which I think is a little high load, but uh, Judge Boyer may differ in that opinion. But I think that e-filing is the good start. I'm not sure if there's any other great methods to go by uh, just because that's kind of where we are. I think docketing is a hard thing to do also. We don't do the docketing via website, and I personally like that. I like to be able to talk to the JA and, and get the canceled times and all that kind of thing. But uh, right now, I think with the e-filing, we're on the right track. If we could just maybe get the e-files to the judges, that'd be great. Because in Pasco County, they don't even get to see anything. They have to print them out and put them in the file. Not the best use of time or resources, but if we could just maybe Scoot that along, that'd be great. I'm not sure if we're talking about Supreme Court or regular judges, um, but I practice in front of many judges. I actually practice in 10 different counties or have practiced in 10 different counties in front of several judges. Um, we I practice largely in front of Pasco County judges. Um, the judges that come to mind I practice in front of on a regular basis, uh, Pat Syracuse, Kim Campbell, and Linda Babb. Uh, they are all three great judges, and we are blessed in the Sixth Circuit, really, uh, because we are, we have a lot of great judges out there, we really do. And trust me, I've, been, I've seen a lot of it. Uh, but with, with those, let me tell you why. Um, Pat Syracuse once told me that um, people will sooner forget their day in court, sorry, the outcome of their day in court, if you give them the opportunity to be heard. If you let them have a moment to say what they need to say, let them get it off their chest, let them have their moment, they will remember that more than they'll remember the actual outcome. And I think he's right. I think he's absolutely right. If people have the chance to, to understand that you're listening, 
you get it, you hear it, and this is the ruling, then that's fantastic. Um, Kim Campbell, she's a relatively new judge. She was elected last election cycle. She, I was in front of her for a very nasty, nasty, nasty case. And she has the wherewithal to stop the, the hearing, or the trial, and say, we're going to take a five minute break. And she'll come back with an answer. Because she may not know the answer, but she knows where to find the answer. And that comes from years of her litigating. She knows where to go. She knows where to find it. So just give her the opportunity, she will. And I appreciate a judge taking a moment to step off the bench to gain the knowledge that helps her or him get through that hearing and come out with an accurate ruling. Not a, not a favorable ruling, but an accurate one. Um, and Linda Bath, she is great at listening, making the ruling, and then if she got it wrong, sometimes judges get it wrong, uh, she'll let you have the rehearing and she may even change her mind, depending on what your the, the law that you bring into court and the law that you argue. So those are three great judges that I would hope to bring their qualities into my courtroom. Thank you. For Hello again, Alicia Polk. Um, I am going to tell you a really quick story about my child because that is, they are, they are both the uh, apple of my eye. But um, when I started running this campaign, I did not realize how much time it would take away from my family. I'm a very family-oriented person. I uh, still have family dinner night every Monday night at my mom's house where my brother brings his kids. My other brother brings his kids. I bring my kids. My Grammy and Papa are there. My aunts and uncles are there. It's a fantastic thing. People think it's weird, but I love it. Uh, so I'm starting to go get up and leave the house before my child get up, gets up, and, and I get back after they both go to sleep. So my son, my older son, uh, came to me one night and said, Mom, how will I know you came in to tuck me in if you're not here when I go to sleep? I said, well, Connor, I don't know. Why don't you think about it, and we can figure something out. So about 20 minutes later, he said, I got, I got it, Mom. I said, all right, let's hear it. What is it? He said, you can give me a lipstick kiss. And that way in the morning, when, you know, when I get up, I know you came and tucked me in. And so I'm very proud. He's a smart little boy, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't have come up with that. But it's fantastic. He is now telling me lipstick kisses are getting sticky. So uh, we're going to have to amend that. But that's kind of me in a nutshell. I'm a family person. I love my family. I love my job. I love, love serving my community and giving back because they were so good to me when I was growing up. Had a lot of family support, a lot of community support. And that's how I want to be on the bench, to be there for my community and be there for my family. So remember, August 26th, Alicia Polk, I know it's hard to get fired up about judicial races, but it's important. So I hope to see you at the polls. Thanks.